My name is Aoife and I'm in my third year of Commerce International with Italian. I recently participated in EngCom 2021, a global engineering and commerce case competition. Like so many other sectors, the world of teamwork has been disrupted by the COVID-19 pandemic, forcing a radical shift from in-person to virtual collaboration. This is not an easy transition, especially for students who are so accustomed to working together and brainstorming ideas in a physical environment. However, with the right guidelines in place, I believe that online collaboration can be just as effective. The first thing to remember is that communication is key. In an online environment, your team members can't physically see what you're working on. So it is your duty to explain exactly what you are doing as you are doing it. This will ensure that the finished result, whether it be a case solution or a group project, is connected, cohesive and consistent in its ideas. This was especially relevant in the EngCom competition, as the team consisted of myself and three engineering students. Therefore, I had to talk through how I was calculating the financial forecasts, just as the others had to explain how they were designing the technical solution. This resulted in an integrated business engineering solution, neatly woven together by strong communication. However, this is relevant for any project, as the work will always have to be split amongst team members in some form. And keeping this ongoing open channel of communication will be the key to success. The second thing to remember is to avoid group conformity. Having a team full of yes men, full of people who will agree with what is suggested, whether they believe in it or not, is actually no good to anybody. This is a trap that I think is easier to fall into in the world of virtual collaboration, because sometimes it just seems easier to listen and to nod than to unmute yourself and pitch in. But what you have to remember is that in any team project, you are trying to come up with the best solution possible. This means that you have to challenge each other's ideas constantly, because if you can find a flaw, then so will the person judging your solution. This means that asking a team member to explain why they think we should propose a yearly subscription as opposed to a monthly one, or pointing out a potential flaw in using a technology that is not yet developed, will all help to strengthen the idea and the concept. This will result in a final solution that the team is confident in and ready to defend. The third challenge I found involves using virtual platforms. During the week of EngCom, each case had to be solved during a collaborative Zoom meeting, with the final challenge being a 12 hour long call. I have found that during these calls, maybe because Zoom is a platform usually used for meetings, it is very easy to spend a lot more time talking and a lot less time doing. Do you ever join a call and talk about everything you have to do as a team, but actually doing the work there and then, whilst on the call, is difficult. The only way that I have found to overcome this is to have an agenda of exactly what has to get done in that time. And once the meeting begins, spend five or 10 minutes chatting about this agenda. But after 10 minutes max, move on to actually doing it. For EngCom, this meant a strict timeline done on an hourly basis, with, for example, our three to four dedicated to developing the marketing strategy and our four to five dedicated to costing the solution. Overall, EngCom was a wonderful experience and I cannot stress enough the importance of teamwork as a skill. Employers love to see it, not just the word on a CV, but clear evidence of where and how you've worked successfully in a team. Try and apply for as many of these challenges as you can. Be it the KPMG ideation challenge or the ESB challenge, one thing UCD offers to all students is opportunity. I heard a quote before that opportunities are usually disguised as hard work, so most people don't recognise them. So the next time you receive an email about an upcoming teamwork opportunity, apply. Mm -hmm.